see that? That's one of the biggest and longest culvert tunnels I've ever encountered. This might be a bad idea, but I want to find out how far does that really go. If you want to find out as well, just grab your flashlight and come along with me. So I'm inside right now, only about 10 feet. And as you can probably tell, the echo is ridiculous. It's reverberating so much and it sounds so distorted. So I do apologize in advance. I have no control over the audio. I will do my best to try to talk slowly and clearly. And I'm gonna keep talking to a minimum just so we don't get that bad echo and reverberation. But as you can see, this does spill out into the river here. And right now we have low water levels and I'm about ready to embark on this journey and this adventure to find out how far does this truly go. I can tell you right up front, I have no idea what's at the end, where it comes out, how far it does go. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm gonna try my best to reach the end and hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have some answers to those questions. So I'm gonna grab the rest of my gear and head into the darkness. You ready? Let's go. The one thing I want to point out right away is the water line, which is, that's the high mark right there. That is up to my waist. If the water was that high, I wouldn't be standing here. I'd get swept away. So this is not something you want to do right after heavy rains or when rain is expected. There's a backwash of material here and it's actually helping absorb some of the echo. Just came around a little bend here is looking back so haven't traveled too far but just want to track our progress and show you different views along the way all right right now I'm gonna kill the light I'm using my light panel and I'll show you just how dark it is Can't see nothing, it's pure black. So there's my light panel, and I'm now gonna turn on my Silfern SP33. Yeah, that's uh, quite the view. Definitely resembles the Pennywise layer. Has a long straightaway, and after the debris ends, we're back at some more water. The debris pile ends here, and then it turns into more water. Echo's coming back, so I'm gonna do what little bit of talking right here that I'm gonna say, and then gonna trudge through that and kind of update you along the way. So if I was to guesstimate the height of this, I would say 10 to 12 feet, maybe even higher. I'm gonna say 10 on the short side, 12 or 14 maybe on the higher side it's really big uh, you can actually fit a small car in here ATV side by side would be able to fit no problem it's a big culvert and it's solid concrete and I don't know what we're gonna come across as far as like um, chambers or different tunnels hopefully you know we don't get lost we're gonna have to pay close attention if that does happen but this uh, also is just for storm water runoff, so it's not sewer. Um, it doesn't have the best smell, but it's just because of the material on the ground here. But it is storm water runoff from the streets. And there is looking back. I'm gonna shut the light off here. And that's pretty much how it looks. Am I glad I'm wearing these muckers? So right now I'm stepping on soft material 
So it's water and it's about probably three, four inches deep. And my foot sinks in about another half an inch. It's really nasty, but thankfully I'm dry so far. Hopefully it stays that way. And if you look to, I'm using my headlamp, you can see the water reflection on the ceiling there from the little waves. All right, let's hope that it doesn't get any deeper. I'm gonna keep moving. So while you're watching this video, comment down below, tell me, would you ever go into a culvert this big, this long? I'd like to hear what you guys think. All right, some good news. The water has essentially ended. It's all facing towards the exit there. And here, it's just a little wet patch here. It looks like it's going slightly uphill, but it is for the most part pretty dry. So that's good news. I got through what I believe is the worst of it. And that echo lasts for at least 15, 20 seconds. It's crazy. Just listen. Hey! Okay, have an update for you. So just traversing through this dry section here, it seems like we're going slightly uphill around a gentle curve, but it changes up here. So we're in a completely circular culvert tunnel right now. And up ahead, it changes to a type of rectangle. Wow. This is incredible. Just like something I would imagine to see like under the city of Las Vegas or New York. I can't believe all this is underground here. And okay, I think we have a record setter here for the world's largest cave crickets. Those are big. All right, so I've now exited the circular tunnel. Here's what it looks like from the opposite end. Forms like a funnel shape. And now the height is lower. This is maybe closer to, uh, probably much closer to 10 feet, maybe eight feet. Width though, uh, it's probably close to 15 feet across. By far big enough for a vehicle, even a truck, like a pickup truck. Okay, we got a straightaway here, and it's gonna go around a bend, and the echo is not that bad. Now, people have been back here. You can see there is some graffiti. It's old, it's faded, but at times they're having people back here, so I just need to Keep on guard, make sure I don't come across anything or anybody, especially by surprise. So I come around this curve here and it turns back into a circular pipe or tunnel. This one may be a little bit smaller than the previous one. Can't tell, it might be the same. But I do see daylight ahead. It's not coming through on camera yet, but there is daylight up around the bend. And I believe I know where that is. It's a cutaway open section, which we have to walk through and just be quiet so we don't draw any attention to ourselves. And then uh, it'll go back underground. All right, 
it does open up. I'm gonna walk through silently and quickly so I don't get seen or noticed or heard. So we're back inside now. Just looking back where we just came from. You can see in here, these sections are bolted together. So a little bit different construction design, but it's more of a rectangle shape here. There's some spider webs hanging from the top, some old cobwebs. I do hear vehicles as well as I believe we're going underneath the road. So there is a brick culvert that looks older, which comes into this uh, corrugated plastic. Still making progress, it's still pretty much the same general design here. Uh, height is about, let's say, seven to eight feet tall, about 10 feet wide. Now, I'm gonna speculate, and just because of experience, usually these really long culverts like this, they get smaller as you work your way back. So I'm anticipating it's gonna get smaller and smaller to a point where it's becoming just like a crawl through pipe or something like that. At least that's what I think and then it generally gets larger as it discharges towards the outlet. And so far it seems to be happening that way, but as long as I could stand up and walk and not have to really, you know, be too strenuous to keep progressing, I'm gonna keep going. All right, if you listen closely, you might be able to hear some vehicles. Right there, hopefully you heard that. So I found my first manway exit entrance underground here. Just goes to a manhole cover. This just keeps going and going and going. Now the one thing I'm wondering, not sure if I'll find out, but maybe someone who's watching can answer. Do you think this was excavated out underground? Like, do you think they like did a bore hole, like a tunnel? Or do you think they excavated it from the surface, poured the concrete, and then covered it up? That I'm curious about. Like you hear traffic. That goes to a brick tunnel, a lot of hot air coming out of there. Completely circular, made out of brick, past the concrete there. I hear music. Right. 
opens up up here. I'm gonna stay quiet. So there's a obvious road up there at someone's house. They're playing music on their porch. So a little further down, I came upon some rocks here that got washed down from somewhere and got kind of trapped around the bend here. Pretty good sized ones too. to show comparison of size. There's my camera. Look at that. They're almost as big as my camera. So there's another drainage area where it comes down from the street, flows into here. All right. Ooh, whoa. This really changes up here in a very creepy fashion. I think we're coming to the original old ruins of this culvert. Whoa. Holy crap. This is constructed out of stone and it's really bad. I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to go I'm not wearing the appropriate footwear for climbing over rocks, but we got concrete with some iron beams, and then it goes to stone and narrow gauge railroad tracks right there as supports. This is really old. Wow. All right, I'm gonna snap a few photos and we're gonna see how far we could go. fresh batteries and the camera and the light. Also to update to you on the conditions, it's really warm and muggy. It's probably uh, in the, close to the 80 degrees down here, but it's really muggy. I'm sweating pretty bad, but we're gonna go through here and I'm gonna try to keep as quiet as possible because it's actually plywood on the top and electrical work. It might even be the basement or underneath of someone's house. I don't want to draw any attention, so I'm going to be very quiet until we get past this section, but I'll show you some, some footage along the way. So that's a railroad track, and that's almost rotted clean through. That's not good. That is like a big stone slab here. I don't know if it's concrete or not. There's plywood. There's old newspaper. That's the comics. There's Snoopy there. Coming around us. 
slight bend here. There's a washed out area right there. Got a debris pile I need to climb over, but it does keep going. And I'm gonna keep going. That's only gonna get worse. Okay, so now I'm completely surrounded by stone. It's arched. There's everything down here from recycling containers to buckets. Whoa, okay, let me get across this pile here and then we'll keep moving. Okay, as I mentioned, it is getting smaller. I'm having to hunch over right here, probably because of the buildup of material. This isn't the true bottom, I don't think. Uh, Home Depot's advertising down here in the culverts. That's looking where we just came from. And it's just these various pipes. And here's another area that's ready to collapse. So I need to be very careful of what I'm doing, where I'm going. I'm gonna keep talking to a minimum. Yeah, not a whole lot of room down here. I'm kind of hunched over. If I stand up, I'll hit the top. Whoa, there's a big collapse. There's a combination of plywood, corrugated metal, and concrete. I don't know, maybe that's not a collapse. Maybe that's a pipe. But it looks precarious. I'm gonna keep moving though. Oh, what is that? That almost looks like a, a minecart wheel. I don't see any flange on it though, but that looks like a wheel that you find off a, a minecart, like a coal minecart. So I just came through that lower portion. I could, for the most part, stand up now. It keeps going now. I have to say, I think I'm well over a mile into this. I have no idea where I am. In a little bit, I'm gonna check for some cell phone signal and see if I can find out where I'm at. And here's the true bottom. You can see the bottom layer of the stone. So that is the very bottom right there. But look what I found. A Hello Kitty ball. Of all places to find one. And I'm wearing the appropriate shirt. If I found a toy, does that consider this abandoned? <laughs> I don't think so, but you never know. Look at that piece of, uh, what is this? This is like, um, almost like slate or limestone. Yeah, that's a nice piece of material. I don't know what that is. Really smooth. And Hello Kitty. Hopefully I don't see any red balloons. Although I'm not afraid of clowns, but they'd be a, Freaky coincidence. Just came from that direction there. It's tricky with the lighting. I'm not sure if I'm using too much or not enough light. And we have a change here where I believe this is bedrock. This is solid bedrock here. So a little bit better conditions for walking here. I could stand straight up now. There's little collections of water. And I checked to have no cell phone signal, so I don't know where I'm at. Oh, it 
comes out up here. Okay, I'm seeing daylight. That's good news. And look at, what is this? That's a air pump. I thought it was a pogo stick. All right, so there, I believe there's an ending to this. Let me get up uh, past this debris pile and we'll go check that out. Yeah, here's a air pump valve for a bicycle, bicycle pump. And some random objects. There's even a tennis ball. So we're going from the old stone and there's something big crawling up there. like a thousand legs. So old stone to a more modernized concrete passage, but there's no bottom. It's just natural bottom. This is um, bedrock, I believe. And there's a, a washout area. Whoa. There's an old tire there. How did that get there? That's behind the wall. Now what's behind here? Wow, there's all kinds of things. There's holes up there. I'm thinking animals live up there. Looks like a rubber mat and a tire. It's behind the wall, though. I do have to bend over here. It is kind of low. And there's spiders and spider eggs and spider nest on the ceiling. Oh yeah, it's a, another spider den. I'm okay though. Looks like maybe a piece of rail right there. Where the hell am I? What is this? What the hell did I just come to? yard. I believe a pool right there and a deck. And someone's big backyard patio. It's all fenced in. And the water does come down this way. It's fenced off, so I can't go up there. I'm not going to try to. But I'm in a neighborhood. What I'm going to do right now, I should have signal here. I'm going to see where I'm at. I'm going to try to go from my starting location to here on Google Maps and try to estimate, guesstimate how far I travel. At this moment though, I don't know where I'm at. And here is like the entrance to it. That's where we just came through. All right, I'll see you guys in a moment. checked on Google Maps. I think that might be a business up there. But I'm also like in a neighborhood. But I travel a pretty good distance. Alright, what I'm going to do right now <clears throat> I'm going to make my way back hopefully to the beginning where I know I could talk louder. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'm going to go all the way back to the other side as long as I don't come across anything. Um, that's what we'll pick up with the video. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why is your water falling? about. I'm getting out of here though in case a lot more is coming. So I made it back out in one piece. A little worse for the wear, a little dirty, a little sweaty, but what an adventure. I don't know where to start. I'm not going to ramble here, but I do want to touch touch on a few points. Um, going into this, I didn't know where it went, how long it went. It could have been rather disappointing, but it far exceeded my expectations. Seeing the different types of culverts that were constructed with the concrete circular tunnel behind me I went to the more squared rectangle portion the cutaway segment and into a lower rectangle section and then into that old old ruins area as I call it that I'm pretty certain went underneath some homes and or businesses because I heard some thumping like something was being moved or dropped or even like footsteps so I was 
pretty confident to say I was underneath someone's home. Really weird construction though. I mean, seeing that they used the rails and then some plywood and some like plastic concrete. It's definitely going to have to be updated at some point. It is looking not so good in, in a few areas. But with that being said though, it was just neat to see how it transformed. And my assumption was right. It starts off big here at the discharge open area and it got smaller as we worked our way back and towards the end I was hunched over where we came out. Now from there I don't know where it goes. I think it's more or less just a stream. I don't think there's any more culverts beyond where we came out. But I'm happy with what we accomplished today. It was um, more than I expected. Like I said, it, it exceeded my expectations. But I do want to hear your feedback though on not only the things I mentioned but the questions I asked and just overall what you thought of this adventure. On top of that too, I do want to mention uh, something, or rather a channel. Now if you do like culverts, things related to culverts, there is a channel that I do watch from time to time. They've also mentioned me in their channel. It's called Post 10. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him. He's got a large channel and I call him, in my mind, the Culvert King. He knows everything there is to know about culverts, the construction of them, you know, the performance of them, anything there is to know about them. He knows his stuff when it comes to culverts. He also clears out clogged up drains and clogged up clogged up culverts as well. So if you want to see things related to culverts, check out Post 10. I will put a link down below for his channel. And I think he's up in the New England area, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, guys, I do want to mention that if you do have, you know, thoughts or the inclination to do stuff like this, all I could say is if you're not sure what you're doing, don't do it. You know, there are a lot of dangers involved. You don't know who or what you're going to come across and you don't know where you're going to come out at. So there are a lot of dangers involved, but this is not my first rodeo, so to speak. So if anything, go with someone who has experience or just watch videos like this. Watch the people who know what they're doing and how to do it. Thankfully I had the muckers because we came across some pretty slimy material in there and uh, some questionable objects that were floating, but <laughs> I expected that. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for joining me for today's adventure, and if you do want to see more videos like this one, also down in the description, you will find a playlist to my tunnels and culverts list, and you can see what else I've gotten into or gone underneath or into. Anyways guys, take care, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.